Okay. And from our mobile newsroom tonight, outrage from a woman in Grady County. She says a sheriff's deputy shot and killed her dog without provocation, and she says she has the video to prove it. The story takes us to Blanchard, where the woman is now taking legal action against the county, the state, and the deputy. Channel 4's Jolene Cheney took our mobile newsroom to Grady County today, and she joins us live. Jolene, first, we want to warn viewers the video you've obtained does show the death of this dog. It does, and let me tell you, the owner of this dog has filed a lawsuit in this case, but she says it's not about money. She says it's about holding lawmen accountable. When Tammy Christopher first spotted her dog Bruiser in a friend's litter of puppies, she knew he was the one. I went over there and I fell in love with this one dog and I just had to have him. But four years later, she claims a Grady County deputy needlessly took her companion. She says the deputy pulled up to her driveway and got out to ask for directions. This surveillance video from Tammy's house shows the officer getting out of his car, the dog running toward him, then he shoots the animal. When he shot Bruiser, he was right next to his car door. He could have easily gotten in his car if he was in fear of his life, as he said. You can see as he walks in front of his car, he turns to the passenger who's still inside and motions for him to stay in the vehicle. Seconds later, the dog approaches and he shoots. He had a ride along with him that was actually his brother-in-law at the time. Uh, he actually works for the sheriff's department as a dispatcher. And uh, I think he was showing off. I think he was showing off. And I think that he thought that he was going to get away with it and nobody would know who shot the dog. Tammy says initially the sheriff's department claimed the dog was trying to attack the deputy. But when Tammy told them she'd captured the incident on her security cameras, she claims they changed their story, offered her money to keep quiet, and told her not to show the video to anyone. Tammy said no. I feel like Bruiser has to have a voice. Now, we did try to get a response from the Grady County Sheriff's Department. They declined to comment.